Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, today we have no studio for today. You follow what I'm saying, man? Your boy's outside, man. That's right. Your boy's out here in the street, man, waiting for somebody to roll up on me and clap me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know ain't nothing gonna happen. Hey, you know ain't nothing gonna happen to your boy. Yo, check this out, man. That's right, your boy's out here in the street. Uh, we got, uh, yo, yo, we got Cardi B getting in the fights with fans, man. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what they're trying to say, man. We're gonna get to that in a hot second, man. Um, uh, we got Doja Cat blasting, um, uh, what is it? Noah Schnapp for sharing her DMs, man. Uh, we got uh, folk fighting at the Erica Badu concert, man. NBA young boy talking about the unthinkable. Um, India going in on Maury once again. And uh, Lil Dirk again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell's waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Hey, yo, that's right, man. We say your boy's outside right now, man. Um, uh, you know, your, your boy was riding around and then and, and forgot the studio. You know what I'm saying? So the studio's somewhere else, and we got to get to, to, to the source with the quickness. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully these cats don't slow down too much. All right, yo, check this out, man. We're going to set you off with, um, who we setting you off with? Yo, we setting you off with the master of cryptic tweets, man. Lil Dirk has leaked out another riddle to, for you to rack your brain around, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you would think the Riddler was taking notes from this man. Now, on July 5th, Lil Durk must have reflected back on his July 4th, and I'm assuming he saw someone go broke after copping mad fireworks, watching all their hard-earned cash go up in smoke. Then, <laughs> watching them get joked on, and Lil Durk must have thought deeply about it. Because he posted, this is what he posted, he posted, quote, they watch you go broke and down you about it, instead of helping you win. Ish really made up. Y'all see, close quote. That's what he tweeted. That's right. Think about that for the next four months. You see what I'm saying? Then let us know when you're 75 years old what you think Lil Dirk meant by that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, remember when we told you about um, uh, Maury Povich and India Royale, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, something about, uh, they, like, um, I think it was someone from Maury Povich's team hopped on to a to a to a tweet or something like that and and they said something about what the hell did they say i don't remember okay all i know is that someone hopped on to maury's insta and trolled india royale saying that young boy was better okay india responded to that tweet right because 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 then um what is it king von's baby mama came through and said that oh maury must want to get smoked or something stupid like that Okay, uh, India Royale came back after that whole tweet, right? And she posted, Twitter is the best. I hate when my tweets make it to Instagram. Boo, y'all boring over there, close quote. Now, either Maury kept the same energy, right? Or, or the man was hacked. Because someone from the official Insta, Maury's official Insta, they posted, they posted this pic of Maury, right? along with the second clip of him walking away with the hood on, with the caption, turning that M into a W with the 100 emoji, hashtag worry. <laughs> hey yo, tell me this ain't the end times, man. You know what I'm saying? You like, nah, 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 celeb. Maury always had that kind of energy. Yeah, I guess he did, didn't he? You know what I'm saying? With the, you know what I'm saying? With, with the chasing people to the back of the stage and stuff like that. Maury was always kind of, you know what I'm saying? He's always kind of niggery, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, speak, speaking of an end to something, okay? Um, you know, with the end times and all. NBA Youngboy has announced that he is going to retire after his next album. You like, you like, hey, that dude like 20? Yeah, well, he's actually about 22 years old. You know what I'm saying? But can someone please tell the man, the crown doth not endure forever? In other words, Bro, you are a little bit young to be talking about retiring. Now, he ain't quite used the R word, man. I think he used the word, um, he just said, what 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 he what he posted? He said, um, uh, wait, 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 I had it here somewhere. All right. He said, like if, if it'll pop up here some sometime this year. Um, he said, yo, I ain't effing with this okay, I ain't effing with this rap ish no more. After this album, I'm done. As long as my family's straight, I'ma be good for life. Hey, yo, man, I, I feel that, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, retiring might not be the best word, okay? I mean, perhaps like a hiatus 
is what he's really saying that he's gonna take, man. You know what I'm saying? Unless he has his sights set on like working at Home Depot or something like that. Imagine you went to your Home Depot and you was like, man, where the hell is the light fixtures at? And an and NBA young boy walks up to you, be like, yo, how, you know, can I help you? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's right around there. You know what I mean? It's right around the corner. You be like, yo, man, calm down. I just want to know where the light fixtures at, fam. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, uh, hey, look, maybe he could work as a counselor. He could be a camp counselor, man. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You like, I don't think so. Whatever. Check this out, man. What's my time looking like over here? All right, check this out. Hey, this one is really going to throw you for a loop, okay? Um, Erica Badu has a drill song out. I'm talking, she has a drill song out that'll make you want to throw hands. For real, for real. You like, you, you you trolling, right? Yeah, 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 I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Because wouldn't it be strange if she did a drill track and folks started throwing hands? Would it be more strange that they threw hands and she wasn't singing a drill track? You follow what I'm saying, man? What I'm trying to do here? Here's the thing, okay? Erica Badu, we all know, is sensitive about her ish. Take a look at the insanity that went down at her concert Okay, so us, uh, you might need to blur this foolishness out. You know what I'm saying? Because you know YouTube be at, you know YouTube don't like violence. You know what I'm saying? But uh, take take a look real quick at the insanity that went down at the Erica Badu concert. Take a look. Hey, yo, people are sick, man. Like, if you fighting at an Erica Badu concert, no, no place is safe. You know what I mean? You're not safe at the supermarket. You're not safe in a classroom, at a parade, at the Oscars, even at an Erica Badu concert, man. You know what I'm saying? One person hopped on the Twitter and posted, quote, fighting at an Erica Badu concert is a red flag. She makes the most soothing music. You must have a horrible vibe to still want to fight after listening to it. Close quote. That's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I, like, true words ain't been spoken. How the hell you fighting that Erica Badu concert? You really got to be a, a a miserable piece of crap to be fighting at a damn Erica Badu concert. Man, how dare, how dare you? Let, let, let me do my shout outs real quick because that might make me, that might make me feel, I'm not in my studio, I don't feel like I'm in my element. You know what I mean? you like, yo, you, you don't sound like you in your element. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't. Uh, where, where, where's my, where's my, where's my, where's my shout out at over here, man? I got a shout out. All right, check this out, man. Shout out to, uh, Jonathan Broadnax. My man said, yo, shout out to Jonathan Broadnax. My man said, my hundredth day watching in a row. I might as well subscribe. You got me, celeb. Hey, yo, shout out to you, Jonathan Broadnax. We, re yo, we really appreciate it. I don't even watch a hundred days in a row. You know what I'm saying? Um... I might watch like 30 days in a row, but 100? That's three. That's over three months? Who's this? Who's this over here? Because you know your boy got to watch his back. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you know, folks might run up on me and give me dap. Norman Patton came through and said, hey, yo, shout out to Larry Hoover. Finally, a strong, dare I say, last message. <laughs> my man said, Celeb, my notifications are back on. I see the importance of hitting that button. That way you can comment on these videos early. 500K subs by the end of the summer, 100 mil, 1 million subs, guaranteed, this time next year or earlier. Yeah, I would like that. My man said, real ninjas are spreading the word, fam. Congratulations, you're well on your way. Sky's the limit. Hey, yo, we appreciate you, Norman Pat. Yo, my man is right. If you show up early in the comment section, man, we definitely gonna try to hit you off with a shout out. You know what I'm saying? We gonna try our best. You know what I mean? Um, uh, also, oh, what do you say that I want to address? I forgot. Uh, EJE said, she right though, low key. We got two ears, so 317K subscribers times two. Assuming all your subscribers got two ears, of course. Uh, you know what, it took me a second to get that when she said 600, and, I think she said 634, the queen. When the queen said that, 634 ears can't be wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, a shout out to you, EJE, man, for breaking it down because your boy's a little bit slow on the draw. I, I, I wasn't able to do the math, you know what I mean? 
Anyway, um, uh, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, cause you know it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my checks mix. You know what I mean? I got the, we got the turtle checks mix, man. It's sweet and salty, all mixed together. Uh, Doja Cat is in the news again. I, I feel like she'd be trying to avoid it, but <laughs> ain't it justice for trolls to get trolled? Doja was interested in meeting Stranger Things star Joseph Quinn, so she thought in her infinite knowledge, let me ask a 17-year-old Noah Schnapp to play matchmaker. But she must have forgot that 17-year-old people barely know how to wash themselves properly, man. This dude tells us, he tells you, that Doja told him to hook her up with Joseph, Noah. She didn't ask us for the hookup, fam. She asked you, bruh. Look, she's trying to keep that joint on the low. And now, now that you put her on blast, we now all know and are sharing it on Celeb Source. You know what I'm saying? We're sharing her proclivities. You like her procl uh, her proclivity what? <laughs> hey, hey, yo, look, look, look. Her tendency to choose a certain type of, of thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get confused. Anyway, look, don't you post it, quote, Noah. Can you tell Joseph um to hit me up? Close quote. Wait, no. Does he have a girlfriend? Close quote. See, at least a woman has boundaries that she won't cross. You know what I'm saying? Uh, particularly whether the man has a girlfriend or not. She ain't trying to cross that boundary. Anyway, no one posted that message on his TikTok page so you could know. You know what I mean? And Doja hissed at the man. Take a listen to what Doja had to say. But hope, hopefully you're recording this so that I don't have to do it. I tried to make a TikTok, like a three minute TikTok and it didn't work. Um, I had to like do it like three times without cringing and that was impossible. So, uh, I'm just going to say something right now about the whole fucking, uh, the Noah Schnapp thing. I think that to be fair, first let's be, let's be, try to be chill about it. To be fair, this is like a, a kid. Like Noah is like, I don't know how old he is, but there, he's not even over like, there's no way he's over like 21. And he might be, like I could be wrong. Um, but like, when you're that young, you make mistakes. You do dumb shit. I'm like trying to be super fair. You do dumb shit, you shit, you fucking fuck up relationships with people. You, you make mistakes, like you're supposed to so that you know you're supposed to do stuff like that so that you know not to do it in the future. Like, I, I did my share of fuck ups so that I don't fuck up again. Um, but the fact that this person, that Noah did that, like went and posted a private conversation between me and him is so unbelievably like socially unaware and whack and like you know what i mean like that's like borderline snake shit like that's like that's like weasel shit and like i'm not saying that encapsulates his entire personality like noah is not like the definition of, like, like I, I wouldn't imagine he has made hey yo ain't it, ain't it funny that doja said the words socially unaware Anyway, um, t take a lesson from such a situation. When you send a DM to someone, right? Only send over the internet what you are willing to share on the world stage of social media, okay? Because if you don't, it might end up on Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. You follow what I'm saying, man? You like, oh, is this the end of the video? No, 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 no. I just chose to say that at that point. And finally, you probably tuned in to um, hear about Cardi B beating up fans. Sometimes it happens that way, man. Sometimes fans need to get the hands put on them. You know what I'm saying? They need to get the, the beats bro broke off of them. Or need to get beats broke off? Break, break the beats off? Break, you know what I'm trying to say. Listen, Cardi B has been accused of fighting a fan. Now, I saw the video. She did not fight a fan. <laughs> what, look, why I feel like a Blue Lives Matter supporter? You know what I'm saying? See, like, like that saw a murder from the cop and is like, ah, the officer was in danger. That black man had a latte. Um, Cardi B was in the middle or the end of a performance when someone decided it was a good idea to reach. At first, it looked like they was reaching for her mic, but I think they actually reached for her hair. They pulled the woman's hair, okay? 
where the hell is security at? That's what I'm thinking, man. Why the security ain't, ain't beating the brakes off of somebody for pulling on the artist's hair? Okay, look, the insanity never seems to end, man. Take a look at this joint right quick. On state, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Look, I'm mad they even got that close, man. Where the hell security at, man? You know what I'm saying? Look, that's look, that's like walking onto a stage, right? And slapping someone that's presenting the next Oscar. Ain't it? Ain't it the same kind of energy, man? Hey, yo, <laughs> let me get out of here, man. I'm in the parking lot of a Wells Fargo right now. You like, oh, is that where you bank? No, that's not where I bank. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, that just so happens to be where I'm at. You know what I mean? And yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.